I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen in my life. This is a request from Vante. Thank you. Anyone wants to send in any requests, send it to my PayPal or draw my Patreon. Links are down below in the info box. <laughs> so let me get this straight this is a movie that is actually worse than Matt to me worse than Matt to me and how is that the case well you have a confused boring annoying even cheaper E.T. ripoff. And somehow this is worse than a movie that had M McDonald's plastered everywhere and an alien with a consistent o orgasm look. And yet that movie is better than this. These You have two aliens in this that look like they're rotting and two seconds away from being in the fucking Lucio Fulci movie. They look like two melted milk duds. Either they're not blinking right or barely moving. So the, the plot of this film. You have two aliens. Nuki and Miko. If you don't remember those names. Believe me. Because they're going to repeat it about 285 fucking times. Miko. Nuti. Nuti. There's literally a scene where it's said about 15 times. Nuti. 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 Duty. Fuck you. Fuck ye. I don't give a shit. I would like to take both of you at a flying 69 and take a big old foot into your ass through a field goal that was on fire. Into a fucking pool filled with acid. 
that whatever's remain, stick up a fucking ass. Whose ass? This director's ass. The writer's asses. Anybody who made this film's asses. Steve Rilsbeck, what the fuck are you doing in this movie, man? You were Charlie Manson and Helter Skelter. Life Force. I think this was after fucking Life Force, wasn't it? This came out in 87. Wasn't Life Force before this? For fuck's sake. Steve Rilsbeck. What the fuck were you thinking? So, Mito and Nuti are stars flowing through the galaxy. They land on Earth. One crashes in America. Miko gets abducted, put in this military base. The other, Nuti, crashes in Africa. The acting is shit. The dialogue is shit. The production is shit. The editing is shit. The story is shit. It goes on for like a hundred fucking minutes. It could have at least had the decency to go 80 minutes. Or 70 minutes. Or zero minutes. Or negative minutes. But no, it went a hundred fucking minutes. Where these little people in costumes. That barely fucking move. Barely fucking talk. You have, okay, dialogue, acting. When the aliens come down and the military base are looking. Oh, wait, they're going to crash. He will die. Lights don't die. That's what do you call them, he. Think about that sentence. He will die. Lights don't die. And when do you to call them, he? I, do you want to go into them, he, them, he? You want to call them he. You know it's them, but you say he. That's the least of this worries. I don't know why that bothered me. It's inconsequential. But it just like... Or like the one lady scientist. This is no fantasy. Is it a reality? It's my fucking nightmare. That's what it is. This is no fantasy. It's a scientific operation with unknown risks. Yeah, the risk of me going and blowing my fucking brains out. Sticking a fucking... Hey, how about I shove this up my ass and give myself an enema? That'd be more exciting and more satisfying than this. Nuki. Yeah, I'd rather be part of a nuclear fucking explosion in the middle with a spar on my face and a thumb up, thumb up my fucking ass. Rather have my balls nuked in a fucking microwave. So, while Miko is in the military base, he's got tubes up his nose. Maybe it's his fucking fetish. Nuti is wandering around like a fucking idiot with a thumb up his ass around Africa. <clears throat> I'm not kidding where half the dialogue is Nico. I mean, Nico. I wish. I wish. I wish Nico from Above the Law would just snap everyone's necks. <laughs> Nuti Miko. Nuti me that's half the fucking dialogue, man. And so the, either the military are looking at this alien and saying it breathes, but it has no lungs. It has brain waves, but it has no brain. This should actually not exist, but it does. Cause it's a fucking alien! What do you think an alien was? A fucking gerbil? Maybe it's the same dribble up your ass when you're writing the script. It's a fucking alien. Jesus Christ. I'm a prisoner of America. That's what it says. You know how you help this movie? You make it 10 minutes. No, that would... You know what? I kept hoping. I want to hear Neil Diamond's. We come into America. We come into America today. Please, please, Neil Diamond, save me. Save me, Neil Diamond, please. Please. Like Saving Silverman style. Please save me, Neil Diamond, save me. We come into America, please. Or Miko will get off the table, take off the stuff, wander to the AI computer, 
who then hypnotizes him, makes him sleep, and somehow the computer laughs maniacally. <laughs> but then Mito will wander up and get on the table and put the shit back on. Why he doesn't try to escape? I'm telling you, maybe it's fucking fetish. Maybe it's fucking fantasy. The BDSM, LB2, Barbecue, TFC, what the fuck? God damn. So what's Duty doing, our star alien? He roams around, he talks to the animals. Oh, here's another thing about Neat, uh, Nuti. Sometimes he will fly. Turn to a star and fly. But where the fuck he wants to? Because there are times he's walking, he's wandering around, he's walking, and he's like, you know what? Let's fly. Why don't you fly the whole the fucking time? You know, you could be... Well, I can only fly, but then it spends my energy, and then I have to let it refill. That's not in the goddamn movie. He just flies around the fuck he wants to. He just walks and shit. He just walks around, and then he finds two kids, natives of Africa, that they know English better than me. Of course, why not? So the military calling Steve Rails back, and this is Steve Rails back. Fuck, I'll use this. Imagine this is a phone. He has the phone, and he's looking dead eye like over here. This is Steve Rails back when he gets the call. And by the way, it's not even here the receiver. It's like over here. It's like this is Steve Rails back the first time you see him. I mean, it was like this. They were kept the military talking. They were kept out to Steve Rose by going. Is he stoned? Is he frozen? A moment in time. Is he just stunned? He, he's probably stunned by the production. He has been frozen. And he's like, you're going to Africa. Okay, he's going to go Africa. By the way, Steve Rosebud is supposed to be the star. He's in this for like 15 minutes, if that. Even though he's technically the star of the film. If he has more than 15 minutes, I'd be surprised. So, you got the military looking at Africa. And literally, it's a monitor with a zebra. And you know what the guy says? Is this a zoo or a video game? It's a zebra. Does it look like a fucking zoo? Does it look like a fucking video game? Can you stop the jokes? You ain't got a funny bone in your body. Okay? You're the type of guy, man, you couldn't buy a funny bone. You couldn't afford it. You're the type of motherfucker that goes into purple rain to see the movie with a fucking umbrella. you type of motherfucker that goes to a Taco Bell and he thinks he's at the border. you type of motherfucker that will... Die of starvation in the middle of a fucking grocery store. Oh my god. Type of motherfucker that thinks a hamburger comes from a pig. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh my, the damn stick is up, man. You think I'm over the top? If people think I'm being over the top, watch the movie. Please be my guest. Watch the movie without stopping, without taking the piss, without watching in, in, in Watch it all the way through. And then you tell me. Be my guest. I'll wait for your reply. So, Newty, he just has powers whatever the fuck he wants. There's a guy trying to bow and arrow him. He'll freeze him with his shitty yellow beam. And the guy's like trying to be frozen. But he's still moving and it's like, I, I don't want to fall too rough. But he's supposed to be frozen. Uh, he can, Oh, by the way, Newty can talk to the apes and the apes talk back to them in English. I am the teen. You must talk to my cousin. He's talking the chimpanzee. He's talking the apes and they're speaking back in English. Again, Newty just has powers, whatever the fuck. So, he tried to talk to animals before. Talked to a giraffe. 
a fucking lion. Which is funny because think about it, this little person is in this suit. He can't see shit. And there's a lion literally four feet away from him. Can you imagine if the lion was hungry? It's what's for dinner. <laughs> Newtie is what for dinner. Oh my. So now the apes can talk to him in English. So Steve Rosebad gets to Africa, meets with this nun in a mission. Uh, while N Miko lays a the computer system. Oh, it doesn't explain how he escaped from that room to get, get to the computer system. With, from all the guards you would think would be there. Uh, computer then has an evil laugh for some reason. Makes Miko fall asleep. But then the next time you see him... He's not asleep, he's somewhere the fuck else, and then he gets back on the table and says, fuck it. Newtie, even though he can fly, he can fly, he steals a helicopter. I don't know what he needs a helicopter for, what he can fly. And if you're saying, well, Matt, the movie explains, no, it doesn't. He can fly, but he flies a helicopter, and then crashes it a minute later. Why does he need a helicopter if he can fly? Why? What, does Mito have a fetish for tubes up the nose and Nuki has a fetish for helicopters? Maybe he wants one jammed up his ass. I'll get up here and then I'll fly out and he can jam up my fucking ass. Ask me, Nuti. I'll do it for you. I'll be a motherfucking airwolf blue thunder up your fucking scrotum and your sphincter. You melted, milt dud fuck. Fuck out of my face. Stop wasting my air on planet Earth. You stupid piece of shit. It's stupid. It's boring. It's way too long. It's pointless. It's dumb. It's badly acted. It's badly written. It's badly directed. And you don't give a fuck about the characters. And it just drags on. You have a bit where Newtie just... He could disappear. There's one where he could just disappear. I dream a fucking genie. And then the natives run around... And I'm waiting for the Benny Hill music to play. So because of this crazy stuff going on near the village... The natives decide... They decide, you know these two kids? Let's ban them. Let's ban them and kick out of the village. And so they're out into the desert, the wasteland. Fend for yourself. Why? As in what does that have to deal with these kids? You've seen an alien. Wouldn't you think that was the fucking thing doing it? Nah. This, these kids, you're ticked out. You die. Out in the desert. Newtie finds them. And then again. Newtie. Just fly to America. He doesn't know where it is. Fly to a fucking map. Fly. Look, try and fly. I bet you could find it. You could fly up and go around the moon and come back in five seconds. I think you get to America in less time. So Newtie's with these two kids. They're wandering the fuck around. And Newtie says, hey, you guys going to sleep? Well, this is how children discover sleep where I come from. So he tries to dance, but he can't dance. And then he fireworks just erupt out of out of him. He'll turn to a star, fly around the moon, and then come back. I'm like, you turned to a star, you flew around the fucking moon, but you can't get to America. So and then knocks the kids out with fucking pixie dust. I swear to God. <sighs> great. He, great. 
He did a Bill Cosby on him. That's fucking great. That's fucking great. That's what I want to see. Am I wanna? This is not this wanna be ET. This is a wanna be Mac and me. Great pixie dusted Bill Cosby two kids. Fucking great. So now they sleep. They're walking around again. New T can fly. By the way, you find out later, he could have made the other kids fly. I did that. Uh, Newty, I don't know, he's taking a piss somewhere. I don't know where the fuck he's at. Because the kids are walking and the snake bites, the snake bites one of the kids. And magically, somehow Steve Rosebad knows where the fuck they are, arrives. I just fixed a helicopter that was completely smashed. Man, he must have a good team. Got that lickety split fixed. And then... Steve Rosebat only takes one kid. I don't know why he doesn't take both kids. They could fit in the fucking chopper. But no, he only takes one kid. Why don't you take both of them? So yeah. Great job, Steve Rosebat. You don't take one kid. You don't leave one out to die. Then Newtie comes out. Then he gets shot. But then him and the kid walk around. And then meanwhile, Miko is doing stuff with the computer. Yeah, he's gone back to the computer. And then becomes friends with it. And says, I want you to know what music is. And it's not even music. You know that band Stomp? You know. You know, use whatever the fuck is around you. That's the music. I'm like, great, make the computer more pissed. But no, the computer loves it. And then like 10 minutes later, he's my best friend. And then finds a girl scientist who's a kind girl. And then... I, Steve Rosebad put the kid to the hospital who was bit. Not thinking, what about the other kid I left behind? Maybe I should go back and find him and bring him back? No. Apparently, he, without us knowing, he went back to America. Because then the girl calls Steve Reels back. And he's in the same scene that he was at the beginning of the movie. With the same... The same scene. The same pajamas. The same clothes. And says, yeah, uh, I need you to go back to Africa. It's the same thing, my God. This is without a doubt one of the worst films I've ever fucking seen in my life. It's up there with Feeders, Feeders 2, Pocket Ninjas, The Amazing Bulk. It, it's fucking up there. It's fucking up there, man. Neil Breen movies, Nostalgia Critic movies. It's up there with the ranks of them. That's why when people ask me, what's the worst film? I don't fucking know because there's too many to fucking choose. 1.9 I am to be way too fucking high. So, he somehow gets, floats down a waterfall as if he's a lot of shit. Hey, you know what this is? This is a bullet I put in my fucking brain after viewing this. But the, even the bullet said, fuck it, went out, left, took a fucking height, and said, screw this, I'm out. Because I was watching the film. I put the bullet in my brain. The bullet said, no, fuck this, I'm gone. Left my head, flew away, left this there. Great, so now I got a bullet in my fucking head. And it didn't even make me dead or brain dead, so I wouldn't keep watching this fucking piece of shit movie. Where's the fucking Tylenol? So after Newty falls with a lot of shit, then the kid finds him, and lo and behold, now Newty says, we can fly. Why the fuck did you do that before? And turns him and the kid into a star. And they fly to a beach. 
I don't remember what beach. A Disamerica beach. We were, I wish there were more beaches in the movie. Beaches leave. Please give me some more bitches and beaches. No, he just, what, you to turn the kid. Why not? These two tears are one around the desert dying. You could have turned them in the stars and just flew the fuck somewhere else, Nuki. You stupid fucking lazy fuck. You melted fucking Hershey bar. Nuti. Nuti and Miko. Neil and Bob, is that what you are or what you do? More what you do, you stupid fucks. Oh, I hate. I, I hate. I hate this fucking movie, man. I, I do. I dare anyone to watch it. I dare you. I dare you to watch it all the way through. I dare you. And then you tell me. So they go to a beach. Newtie dies. But then Newtie said something about wishes and if you believe in it. So the kid makes a wish. And then all of a sudden, his brother and the nun and the parents, they come out of the blue. And then Newtie is alive. And then Steel Railsback has Miko. And then they settle down the chopper. And then M Newtie and Miko get together. And there's like a million questions I have. What the fuck is his wishing shit? Why didn't he just wish his shit before? Why didn't Newtie wish for his fucking brother? Who the fuck Miko was? Why didn't Newtie wish it? What? What? Uh, what what, Steve Rillsbad was did he how did Mito get out? How did Steve's bad Steve Reels bad get the alien? How did they know where the fuck they needed the dough? How the fuck I don't know. I don't fucking know man. So Steve Rillsbad I guess is gonna stay with the nun he's like I can't go back. If they know what I did. How the fuck would they know? The only person who would know that we know is the fucking lady who helped you. We never saw you at the base. We never saw you interact with anyone at the base. We never saw you pick up the Miko alien. We never saw the Miko got out of the fucking base. We didn't see any of this. Even the Star Crystal. A film... Where a fucking alien kills people, then watch it, reads an electronic Bible on a spaceship. A, electro bi a fucking orange goober alien reads an electronic Bible on a space station after he killed people. And because he read the Bible, it becomes a Jehovah's fucking witness. And then says, I'm sorry I killed your friends. And then they give him a fucking spaceship and say goodbye. Even... That's one of the worst films I've seen, and that's still better than this. Because at least I can, I explain that, I laugh. Because I say people, yeah, fuck it, because of Jehovah's Witness, people laugh. What the fuck can I say about this that made people laugh? I can't even do that. Then, oh yeah, you know what else is there? The ape, the monkey that talked. Said, I want to go with you guys. So Nuti and Miko and this Monty turn to three stars and they go. Maybe go, why the fuck did you come to Earth in the first place? But they just go. They leave. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lord Ass. If I had Nuti here. I would I would break not the tape I would break him this fucking break it fucking break it break it I don't know what to say I don't know what else to say I got a fucking headache I'm not even kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. I got a fucking headache after talking about this fucking movie. Oh, because I got a bullet hole in my fucking head. Because it, it didn't work. That's how bad this fucking film is. This is one, one of the worst fucking films I've ever seen in my life. 
You're over exaggerating, Matt. Then go watch it. And then you tell me. Sayonara. Later.